This video shows how to create a Windows uh, web robot or a web scraper. In, on the left side we see um, a website where I want to read all those links, those links which are from this uh, uh, eBay market. And uh, this is, will be done by a web robot. Uh, written in Windows forms and when I push here for example the read button then the button uh, this program reads all links which are there so this is a mountain bike fully Cannondale for example this one uh, Jekyll let's do it refresh then there will be yes there is the new it changes all the time so what uh, we now we go we're going to write this application we're writing it in windows forms because in windows forms we have um, the uh, the uh, web uh, web control is more stable there uh, instead of windows uh, in wpf and universal windows platform is uh, still not not the best in a, uh, pr for programming so when we're starting now with this one with a new um, project and in this project we get uh, windows forms application so this is uh, we shall see sharp uh, classic desktop we have wpf windows forms and we also have here the Windows Universal uh, app. So we start with the classic app because that's uh, this most stable one at this point. Uh, <coughs> I'm not creating this now because I al I've already created this application. Now when you push that you will get this um, small uh, solution there. Uh, back, back again. Um, and we have, uh, it will come up with this form 1 and then we drop into the form 1 from the toolbox a button which uh, sets okay uh, where we start the uh, import or the reading and then we we have here a button we drop it on there you see drop a button on there now i won't do it do it and drop a text box also on there escape uh, and inside the text box when we click on there set properties we see uh, we have here the uh, properties itself and we have I've set here the the name of this text box is where is it ah no we have to change from here from the events to the properties and then we see text box URL TBX it's text box URL and that's the button button read and there are three text boxes um, with um, scroll bars and multi-line multi-line is on there so that's uh, I will write the events uh, the results in there and these are log files now what happens there uh, what we want to do in here uh, with the button when we go to the uh, view code there now let's see it like this when I click on there go to the properties then I see here the event and I go to the click event now I see say okay uh, it creates me this function or this me method in C sharp and this method uh, in this method I create a new method a global method or private method in this point void uh, which reads that stuff. So <coughs> what we need as a global, uh, as a local variable for this form is an HTML document and we get this uh, for writing this point is um, what we want to read. We want to read all that stuff and we don't read it by in this case uh, we get it by a web request and we, we are not using the web browser. We could also read, uh, uh, take a browser 
and, the uh, and uh, control the browser as a remote control, give it uh, the address and URL and then steering it uh, to through all the websites. The web browser itself has the uh, advantage that uh, that it reacts on you you can do with the browser everything what you can also do with here with the uh, with the edge for, for uh, the edge or with the former one which was called um, Internet Explorer so you may also be able to uh, drop into a button and do a selection or something like this and uh, that's that's the advantage of the uh, of the web control of web browser control because there are it reacts also on JavaScript and uh, you may start a JavaScript. In <coughs> when we go now there uh, when we run that point um, with uh, with a web request, then we only load the HTML uh, of that website. So that's when we go there and say okay show me the text of this then we only want to read this this text because this is very very fast and we are not interested in javascript stuff so that's that's the big block there we are not inter interested in it so uh what we need here for working with a uh with this structure uh for this we need the it's the best uh, to load the HTML agility pack. So we go to references and say here add a reference and then we are looking for the HTML agility pack. So this is um, a good solution for uh, scrutinizing uh, the HTML document. And then we set the private uh, in the first class of this uh, of this form where we are at form one then we have the first class there and we say there uh, make me a give me a private variable in this web form uh, which is a uh, html using html html agility pack that's what uh, i added here give me a html html document with uh, the name uh, substring uh, document or doc and then we say um, create me a web request we're working with web requests create me a object web request uh, from this URL and create me a response of this web request so this is HTML HTTP web request a response with the name object response web request get the get the web request uh, re response and convert it to a web response or HTTP web response and then we create a stream but then we reading that point uh, so this is only the definition and it does nothing at the point uh, at that moment so we have to start it and we say okay uh, give me a stream loading that stuff of the re response read that stream and at the moment when I when the browser uh, when the code comes to that point uh, the stream starts uh, downloading okay and now we have the stream which is with all uh, internal control stuff with a web uh, some web stuff uh, the uh, control signs then we want to read that point so we create a new stream reader so this this input stream comes in with all uh, all characters then we say okay make a stream reader and load all that point from there to the text reader or stream reader this is text reader stream reader and then we say read this uh, reader go to the end and load everything into a string text reader read to the end and tr dump everything into this string at html and then we say um, 
create me a, at this moment, create me a new HTML document blank. And then load everything from, uh, load this document, the internal document, load it. That's what we do here. This is, before this is, it's empty. Then create a new document and load all that stuff in there so that we can read it. And then we say, uh, then we have it, then we are, uh, we say, okay, show me that point. That's what I always written there with sys at log, uh, log and so on. And show me this as a text element that's enclosed the stream, uh, streams. Okay. And then we say, okay, um, finally, when I've loaded my document, uh, read all or get all results. In inside the results, we do the following. We say, okay, uh, that's now HTML agility special. We say, uh, create me a node collection, uh, which is also part of the class HTML agility pack. Node collection with nodes, multiple nodes of doc get uh, document node so this is the first node when we are there when i say f12 in all browsers 